I'm converting a transit van into a stealthy off-grid camper van. The reason for that is so that I can park anywhere, whether it be on the beach or in the street or outside your house. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm really not that creepy. So at the moment, I'm at the stage of insulating this van. Now, insulation is really important because if you don't insulate your van, you will cook in the summer and you will freeze in the winter. It's as simple as that. Now, there are people out there that say, no, nah, don't bother about insulation. It's a pain. It's not worth the hassle. You get mould and blow and they're all like mm, down on it. But I don't agree with any of that. It is worth doing it because, like I say, in the summer, you're going to cook. In the winter, you're going to freeze. And at night, you're going to hear everyone walking past. You can hear every car, every cat, every fox. So it's best to insulate for three reasons. And those three reasons, like I say, are quite simple. You're going to freeze, you're going to sweat, you're going to lay awake all night because you can hear everything. Now, my van, I like to use this recycled plastic. I think it's made out of plastic bottles and plastic just... Yeah, it's made out of plastic, recycled plastic. So it's good for the environment. And um, it's easy to work with. It's really easy to work with. It's easy to cut. It doesn't make you itch. I don't think you need a mask, although you probably should wear one. I've never worn one. Maybe I should. It's food for thought. Um, the only downside I can think of well, actually two. There's two things that I don't like about this. One of them is being that it's not flame retardant. It will burn. Some people say it doesn't, but it does. I mean, it's quite simple to check. All you've got to do is put a lighter to it and see if it sets light. Now, I've done it. It does take a while for it to actually burn, but it will burn. Um, yeah, I'll, I, later on, I'll find a lighter and I'll set light to some just to show you. I'll do it live on camera to show you that it does burn. The other thing is... Once you've fitted this insulation, if you try and drill into it, the drill bit, it tends to grab the drill bit and it will snap your drill. It's amazingly strong. It will just like clog your drill up. Can't quite explain how it does it, but um, maybe I'll try and demonstrate that as well. So yeah, they're the only two disadvantages. It burns and it grabs hold of your drill bit. So if I was to drill into this now, Guarantee the drill bit would it will just grab it. I don't know how it does it, it just grabs the drill bit. It all clogs up around it. Um but apart from that, it's fantastic stuff and it does for you a bit for the environment. So remember, put your plastic in the recycling because it's good for the environment and it helps out chaps like me who build camper vans. <laughs> right, so uh what was I talking about? Oh yeah. Will arch. I'm insulating this will arch, but before I insulate it, I need to take care of this rust. Because the pre some plonker, I mean the previous owner, um, has drilled holes into it and caused it to go rusty. So that's the first job. Clean it, and I'll put some red oxide primer on it, and then seal the holes with uh, silicon. Yeah, and I'll do that both sides, on the outside and the inside. So that's the first job. Then the second job will be to strengthen these boxes because they're a bit too flexible for my liking I want them to be nice and strong because the bed some of the weight of the bed will go on top of those boxes so I need to uh, strengthen those somehow as well I haven't quite decided how I'm going to do that yet but uh, I'm sure I'll work it out work it out as I go like I do but like I say first job take care of the rust I'll um, carry on filming in a minute I'll get back to you so I've done the uh, the rust, there you go, and that's just basically, move my box out of the way so you can see, there you go, that's both sides, like that. and that's just uh, red oxide primer, a little bit of black silicon, and the stuff I used was this, and as it says on the tin, anti-corrosive formula, mm -hmm. good stuff, let's hope it does what it says on the tin. As I say. So there's the framework for the box. Now the box will simply slide over the top of there and that will help support um, the top of this box so it could be weight bearing. Like that. Get it to fit. There you go. 
So now that, the centre leg of the bed can sit on top of there, no problem. Now I know it looks a bit grotty at the moment, but I'm going to clean all of that. I shall clean it, sand it back a bit, um, and then paint it. So it'll look nice. Looks a bit grotty at the moment, but it will be okay. Before I screw it in place, I must remember to stuff that area full of insulation. That's my next job. So there we go. Nice and solid. Look at that. Solid as. I can put my bed on there now. My bed post coming up here, going across there to the other side. And that'll be more than supportive. Yeah, really pleased with that. Now for the next job. Um, don't quite know what that's going to be just yet. I'm going to have a cup of tea, maybe a biscuit, and uh, yeah, have a think about what I'm going to do next. Well, I was having a cup of tea, having a biscuit, and there was a knock at the door. The postman. He wasn't very happy because <laughs> he had all these parcels <laughs> and more. So, but he also had. Hang on, I've got to hide my name. <laughs> Let me reg over number. He also had this. Look at that. Contractual, contractual parking charge notice. What's that then? What does that actually mean? <laughs> Payment advice. <laughs> this is for parking in uh, a certain hardware store car park if you look a couple of videos back you'll see I parked there when I was doing my flooring and it wasn't until after I'd done my floor that I realised I'd actually stayed longer than I should I didn't even know there was a time limit I even asked the woman in the shop if it was okay for me to work on my van in the car park and she said yeah go ahead everybody does it oh look at that I thought that screen had a crack in it then, <laughs> it's a cable, <laughs> that just made my day, my phone's broke. So anyway, yeah, I even got permission to work on my van in the car park and I still got paid a fine. And how much is that fine? It's a hundred quid. A like hundred quid. I want a solar panel for my van, the solar panel's £99. I'm not paying these a hundred quid, I'd rather buy me solar panel. They can go do one as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, I'm not going to let that spoil my day. I've got prezzies. Start the small one. I can't even remember what I bought. 100, 100 quid. No, I'm not going to let it ruin my day. It's not going to ruin my day. You know why? Because I want to pay it. I need a solar panel, that under a quid can get my solar panel. It's well wrapped, isn't it? Jeez. Jeez Louise. Oh look, that's my fuse box and some fuses. That's nice of them. Shame I can't remember who I pulled it off. It doesn't even say on here. Oh, it does. Alright, oh, this says fuse box block. It says commercial sample. It doesn't say who it's from. That's a shame. I'll have a look later where I got it. I can't remember. It was on eBay. This is bad. Oh, it's me rocker switches. Look at them. <laughs> now, these are meant for a boat, but um, they're perfect for a camper van because they've got these cut out overload switches so if, if, if whatever you're powering draws too much current like if there's a fault with it you call a shrink yeah I've got to make sure I'm smart um, I think it's called an ICDU or something and they pop out and cut the current a bit like a fuse so I've got this any fuses should be super safe yeah I'll have to ask my son what these are called because he's an electrician. I can't remember what they are. Much to my shame. Apologies, sunshine. What else you got? Oh, very important. 
Look at that gas detector. I can't remember where I got this from either. Oh, where E Express? Oh, that's the courier company. Yeah, it was in Japan or China or something. Really cheap, but they do work. I've had these before, and I uh, cracked the gas bottle open, pointed it straight at it, and it went off. So, very good. All safety stuff. That's nice, isn't it? Safety cutout switches, safety gas detectors. Alright, what else have got? Hang on, go and get it. Oh, I got one. <laughs> you can see why the postman's got the old <laughs> water bottles. Now, these are from. Um, clear cut conversions, you find them on eBay, they do loads of different stuff. Loads. Um, got my solar cho charge, blah, blah, blah. solar charge controller, again from China. There you go. Nothing flash, but it works. It's good enough for what I want. Remember, I don't, I'm not going to run any heavy electrics. You know, I don't need a hairdryer or anything like that. So a little 30 amp solar controller does me fine. Hang on, there's more. <laughs> Just this little one. <laughs> This was um, from. This is really extravagant. Isn't it? Now there are different ways you can look at this. Right? Normally, I would have like a little gas ring, a, a grill, or sometimes I try and get hold of a, a second-hand oven, one of those big ovens off of a boat. I think the Transit I've got a big oven, but I'm no chef, right? I'm no Gordon Ramsay. All I ever do is make a cup of tea in the morning, <laughs> maybe some porridge, or even uh, just some uh, soup. You know, I'm not. I'm not a chef. You know what I mean? So why do I need a cooker? Why do I need a grill? Why do I need all that stuff? All I want is a little burner, right? So I bumped into someone down a tire shop who just converted a little Mercedes Vito and he had one of these in his Vito and I thought that is perfect that's what I need one of them it's neat it's small it's compact and it does just the job there you go look at that what a beauty and they, are, they are expensive for what it is considering all it is is a sink with a gas burner Oh god, it's still punched. Oh, it's got, it's cut, me in, cut me neck. There you go. Fresh out of the box. I mean, it's almost... Uh, what was it? I think it was about 160 quid. But when you think about it, right, it's got a little grill, look. I'll take that off. I don't need that. I won't be doing that much, you know. It's got a sink. A little burner it's all in one go it's all in one place nice little lid <laughs> that snaps shut <laughs> like that it's perfect for me it's a sink and a grill well not grill um what's it called gas burner and it's got the 
safety cut out on it as well. See that? So the gas ring itself has got a temperature sensor on it so that if the gas gets blown out, the gas gets cut out. So that's, and, you know, it's, it's all about safety. So do you know, you see a, a theme going on here. I like a bit of safety. Yeah, that's perfect for me. As long as I can get up in the morning, put a kettle on, have a cup of coffee, and have a cup of tea in the afternoon, I'm happy. That's all I need. And I bought that as a kit. I'll get it back on the box. I'll do that later. That's why it comes in such a great big box. I bought it as like size a kit. So there's loads more. There you go, it comes supplied with gas pipe. Um, gas regulator and two Jubilee clips. Chuck it back in the I lose it. It even comes with a nice little tap. That's pretty neat, that. It's plastic. Plastic with chrome. Well, yeah. Got a little micro switch in there, so when you lift that, it turns your pump on. Does it come with a pump? That's all right. It pops it all over the floor. What's this? Oh, that's another parcel. Where did that come from? Ah! Oh, talking about my solar panels. I've got my junction box for it. it goes on the roof. Solar panel wires go through there. But I haven't ordered my solar panel yet because it's winter. And I thought if I put a solar panel on the roof now, over winter, it's going to get well, it's going to get horrible, isn't it? It's going to get dirty, stuff falling on it, birds crapping on it. So I thought I'd wait till spring before I actually get the solar panel and put it on the roof. Oh, there you go. That kit that little kit that i bought with a sink dometic smev plus gas kit was 169 pound yeah it's a lot of money isn't it considering i could buy a sink for like 40 quid and then one of those two burner camping stove things for 60 quid so yeah 100 pound i could have got the same thing so for an extra 69 quid, I'll get something that's really nice. So I kind of wanted something nice, you know, whereas before I've always had second hand or, or made do with other stuff and stuff that I've made myself. But this time I thought, you know, what, I'm going to keep this camper for a couple of years. So why not treat myself to something nice? That's why I bought that fridge. I should probably end up buying another two burner grill thing because I do like my toast <laughs> and you can't make toast on that so I would like a, some sort of grill um, but no I'm, I'm really happy with that I, I thought I deserved something nice yeah. so the postman's gone <laughs> he wasn't happy <laughs> I, actually, I actually went to the van to take the stuff out for him so, <laughs> I got quite a bit for you he went I wasn't expecting it all to turn up on the same day. There you go. Um, the only thing that came the other day was my solar controller. That's why it's open. Yeah. Look how it's packed. It's got, oh, it's a bit of um, polythene in there. What's the instructions? This is like a really cheap one from eBay. Like I say, it comes from China. And, uh, there's your instructions. <laughs> There's a good job I know what I'm doing, eh? Well, sort of. So there you go. I think that'll do for one video for the day. So uh, I'm going to try and find a home for this lot now. I'll find somewhere to put it all. I can't leave it in the back of the van because it takes up too much room. And space is a... Um, what's the word? I don't know, can't think of the word for it, but it's uh, definitely a premium. Yeah, not got a lot of room. So anyways, 
I'm gonna go now. I've got to go and uh, do some other stuff. So take care for now. If you like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss me turning this transit van into a stealthy camper van. And uh, if you're already a subscriber, good on you. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Turn off for now.